I wanted to find out if Zorin OS is really that good or even better than Ubuntu as some say. So I installed both Ubuntu and Zorin OS on the same machine and started using them both for all my day-to-day -day tasks. After 2 weeks of playing with these two fantastic distributions, comparing them side by side in every aspect, I can say Zorin OS is really one of a kind operating system. It is impressive. But I also found out that people use Ubuntu more than Zorin or any other Linux distribution because Ubuntu has a trump card up its sleeve that actually forces you to like it more. It's crazy. So let's jump right in and see how Ubuntu and Zorin OS compare against each other in terms of performance, user interface, software department, usability, stability and finally see which of these two is the best Linux distribution for you, Ubuntu or Zorin OS. The biggest difference between Ubuntu and Zorin OS is their user interfaces. How they look and how they let the users interact with the computer is radically different between both these distributions. Surprisingly, both Ubuntu and Zorin use the same GNOME desktop environment. But as you can see, they both look nothing alike. This is because both Ubuntu and Zorin customize GNOME extensively to create their own unique desktop experiences. And both of these are best in class with stunning looks and a great computing experience. For most people, user interface becomes the deciding factor between these distributions. Ubuntu ships with the updated GNOME desktop environment that has the signature Ubuntu look and feel. The side panel or the dash as it's called is the central control element of this desktop. Your favorite and running apps are accessed from here and you can invoke the search and the app grid from here too. GNOME Desktop makes full use of the combined inputs from keyboard and mouse and provides a nimble and streamlined desktop experience. That is evident here. The fast app switching, quick files and app search and this organized app grid are just amazing. Then there's workspaces. Now workspaces is a very powerful concept for productivity. When I'm working, it's normal for me to have multiple applications open at the same time. Workspaces not only lets me organize these apps, but also streamlines my workflow and significantly speeds up the entire thing. And talking about the looks, Ubuntu is one of the best looking Linux distributions out there. I absolutely adore it. The branding colors, the super polished theme make Ubuntu look absolutely premium. In the looks and interface department, Ubuntu is one of the best there is. Moving on to the Zorin side, it just dazzles in the UI department. Zorin OS 2 gives us the GNOME desktop environment but with a twist. With Zorin, we get the tried and tested Windows 7 style desktop with a premium retouch. The desktop looks stunningly gorgeous and the layout is familiar to everybody. May it be an experienced Linux user or a Linux newcomer, he'll just know how to use this system. It has a slick menu that organizes everything on your computer and presents it in a nice way. And the fast search will help you get what you want very quickly. I'm a huge fan of this style menu, whether in Zorin or Linux Mint or Windows 7. Because this menu lets you quickly open things and files without overly interrupting your workflow. Stock GNOME on the other hand sends your working windows flying and jumbling the moment you press the super key. Zorin OS on the other hand lets you work with minimal distractions. The theming too is just fantastic here. The desktop and the applications look super clean in this white theme. Just look at the file manager here, it looks so premium. And using the Zorin appearance app, you get some fantastic customization options. In the theme section here, you can choose your desired accent color and dark theme. In the interface section, you can tweak the top bar controls, animations and this tangy jelly mode. And one thing you must definitely do after installing Zorin OS is change the super key behavior to Zorin menu. Then we get desktop and font controls which you can play around with. Coming back to the layout section here, this is pretty cool. From here, you can completely change the layout of your Zorin installation if the default style doesn't ring your bells. We get the stock GNOME 3 and touchscreen optimized layouts here. But if you pay for Zorin OS Pro, you get Mac OS, Windows 11 and Ubuntu style desktops which look very premium and are really enjoyable too. Overall, Zorin OS provides an excellent user experience for those who want a simple and straightforward desktop experience. The user interface here not only makes Zorin a great Linux distro, but also a great choice for an operating system. Both Ubuntu and Zorin shine in the user interface department. And since I might like one and you might like the other, I'll be giving both the distros a point each year. But I'm really impressed with Zorin. Zorin OS is based on Ubuntu, so under the hood, they both are very similar to each other. Ubuntu is the world's leading choice for a Linux distribution. It is one of the most dependable operating systems available. I'm not saying a Linux distro, but an operating system. 
It not only dominates the desktop Linux market, but is also a major player in the cloud and server enterprise market. It is the professional's choice. Ubuntu is a system that you can just recommend. It's that reliable and the packages are also very stable. You get well-tested packages and the version numbers are not too old. And since Zorin OS 2 is built on this exact system, it too is very dependable. Both Ubuntu and Zorin provide updates for 5 years. Talking about the user experience, both these distributions are a delight. On Zorin, we already saw how this intuitive user interface provides a great computing environment for productivity. Along with that, Zorin developers have added many smooth features to make Zorin an even more enjoyable experience. For example, the built-in Zorin Connect feature. Zorin Connect lets you pair your smartphone with your computer. This syncs all your messages and notifications on your computer and smartphone. You can quickly share your files, control media playback, and even control your PC from your smartphone. Zorin Connect is a feature that will be useful for about 90% of people. So kudos to Zorin for including this. Zorin OS ships with a good number of pre-installed applications as well as applications that bring in additional settings. It has many more unique features that make using Zorin really enjoyable. We'll talk about them in the upcoming sections. Overall, Zorin OS makes a great operating system that's really a pleasure to use. Ubuntu on the other hand is called Linux for humans. It is one of the most used Linux distributions and in my opinion, it is one of the best ways to use your computer. It is simple to use, it comes with a good number of pre-installed applications, a browser, media players, office suit, and a few time killer games are included. For most people, Ubuntu is usable without the need to change any settings or modify anything. And if you want to, the settings are easy to find and configure according to your needs. It is a solid operating system that has built more than a decade worth of trust. Ubuntu delivers amazing stability as well as usability. Both Ubuntu and Zorin get a point each for stability and usability, but even in this department, Zorin impressed me. Ubuntu and Zorin OS deliver phenomenal performances. Since Zorin OS and Ubuntu share the same core and the same desktop, you can expect an identical mileage. There's no performance gap between the distros. Both systems are very optimized for day-to-day -day computing. If you compare either of these two windows, then you can expect to see a noticeable performance gain with Zorin as well as Ubuntu, especially on slightly older devices. Day-to-day -day tasks like browsing, watching videos, and doing office work are all butter smooth on these two systems. Heavier tasks like compiling, rendering, and even gaming perform very satisfactorily. Of course, your hardware is the main factor here. App opening, app switching are all very nimble, and using Ubuntu and Zorin is an enjoyable experience altogether. In the performance department, both Ubuntu and Zorin OS get a point each. Ubuntu is one of the highest used Linux distributions in the world. Therefore, most software vendors test and package their software for Ubuntu. Ubuntu software repositories contain a large number of well-tested packages. Open up the software store and you can install pretty much any software you need from here. Along with that, Ubuntu gives us Snaps, which are a set of modern packaged apps pioneered by Ubuntu's parent, Canonical. Ubuntu has been doing great work with Snaps and has taken a solid stance here, which has resulted in many top software vendors like Google, Spotify, Nextcloud, JetBrains, and Microsoft bringing their software and tools to Linux. A huge number of software by many more top developers are available only through Snaps. Ubuntu has always had great software availability and with Snaps, it all gets that much better. Software availability on Ubuntu is best in class. You can install any software you want in a quick, convenient, and secure way. No complaints here. Zorin OS scores a masterstroke in the software availability department. You can install anything you want here. When I say anything, I mean anything. This is mind blowing, hear me out. Firstly, you can install any software you want from the Ubuntu repositories as well as Snaps since Zorin is based on Ubuntu. This alone is invaluable. Then, Zorin OS ships with Flathub integration. Flathub is the biggest library of modern Flatpak apps. This allows you to install the latest of all the software with enhanced privacy and better than before stability. Flatpaks are flawless in a sense that they'll work without any issues. They are packaged with their dependencies and necessary libraries to ensure an impeccable user experience. And that's exactly what they deliver. Are we done? Not yet. You can download Windows games and apps from the internet and you just double click on them and they'll install on Zorin OS. But that's not all. First, Zorin OS will check if the particular app is available natively in the Zorin App Store and will give you a one-click option to install that. If not, then you can go ahead and install the .exe or .msi file like you do on Windows. And the software store here deserves a special mention. This software store here is clean and organized. It's flourishing with amazing apps across categories. 
any software you want can be installed in any format you want by selecting here. This is something I've been talking about for a long time. Three package managers and so much complexity under the hood. But all the user sees is a clean, organized and easy to use software store. Zorin noise scores major points in the software department. But I want to make it clear that Ubuntu is in no way inferior to Zorin in this department. In fact, Zorin builds on top of what Ubuntu has to offer. Gaming on Linux has reached a whole new level which no one could have predicted even 5 years ago. Today, you can play thousands of top titles on Linux irrespective of whether the game is available on Linux natively or not. Linux now has a ton of native games. Ubuntu repositories bring many fantastic games right to you. Titles like 080, Nexus, Zonautic are all downloadable from the store on both Ubuntu and Zorin. Along with that, you can now play thousands of Windows games on Linux with ease. GTA 5, The Witcher 3, Cyberpunk 2077 and many more AAA titles are now playable on Linux. What Wine started has now matured and with projects like Sora and Steam's Proton, installing and playing Windows exclusive games on Linux has become that much easier. I recommend Steam and Bottles if you want to try these Windows games on either Ubuntu or Zorin. Both Ubuntu and Zorin OS come with AMD and Nvidia graphics drivers pre-installed. So you'll be getting the best possible performance out of your hardware. Both the distros get a point each here. And you don't have to be alone on this journey no matter which of these two you choose. Ubuntu and Zorin OS both have very large and active communities and people are very helpful online. You can find how-to guides and answers to almost any troubleshooting you might need. The community is quick to respond and always willing to help out. Ask Ubuntu forums are a great resource for any kind of help you might need regarding these two distributions. Yeah, most solutions on Ask Ubuntu forums will be applicable to Zorin OS as well. Zorin OS has its own forums for content specific to it. Getting help in general is much easier on both these distributions thanks to Ubuntu. Zorin OS as well as Ubuntu have a really simple and straightforward installation. Even the most complex operations are represented in an easy to understand and beginner friendly way. You can install both these distros in 15 minutes. Installation is as simple as it gets. The graphics drivers are automatically installed on both these distros. Both Ubuntu and Zorin work on most computers created in the last 10-15 years. Default installations of both these come with same default settings. You can get the apps you need directly from the software stores on these systems. All in all, getting started with Ubuntu as well as Zorin OS is a very simple process. I have given the download links as well as step-by-step -step installation guides for both these in the description below. Ubuntu is the best all-round Linux distro. It has a great UI, a phenomenal base and a praiseworthy application availability. It gives the users a stable and polished starting point to build a personalized system. You may be a student, a software professional, a business owner or a scientist. Ubuntu will work for you and that is pure gold. It's just that Zorin OS excels by building on top of it. If you look at the scores, they are almost identical with Zorin in a slight lead. And in every department, Zorin was objectively better than Ubuntu. Zorin developers saw an opportunity. Ubuntu has done a lot of things right, but it did some experimentation with its UI with Unity Desktop and later it abandoned it. It's okay, haters gone hate, but I really loved Unity. But did they really abandon it? No, they gave us GNOME Desktop but in Unity style. I know it's messy, but it's still really good. Zorin developers saw this opportunity and created a desktop Linux that truly gives the people what they want. They targeted and accommodated Linux newcomers with a familiar desktop and from then on, they have been unstoppable. Windows app support, Zorin Connect, desktop layouts and so much more have been done to make Zorin OS the singular best choice. I mean you just saw the video, why would you choose anything else? Well that makes Zorin OS the undoubted winner for today. Go ahead and get it, the download link for both the distributions are given in the description below. Also check out my video on the 20 things you must do after installing Zorin OS that will supercharge your Zorin experience. I've talked about some cool optimization tips in the video so definitely check that out. If you enjoyed this video, do hit that subscribe button. I thank Mitchell Valentino and Pieter Woho for supporting my work on Patreon. My course Linux Mastery will be soon available on my Patreon as a weekly live coaching session to all my patrons. So if you are interested in it, go ahead and check that out. This is Linux Techs signing out.